Hey, welcome to Coffee, 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 your place for average Joe coffee reviews. The coffee we're reviewing today was almost made into a movie by Clint Eastwood, but he decided to go in another direction. <laughs> So today we are reviewing Blavatsa's Gran Espresso. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. It's close. It's close enough. Um, and it is supposed to have uh, notes of cocoa and black pepper. It's a, it doesn't really say, I mean, it's obviously a darker yeah. roast since it's espresso, but it doesn't really have markings on it's the back. It's an espresso roast. That tells you, yeah. So um, Blavatsa is supposed to be Italy's favorite coffee. Yeah. We, we asked an Italian person and they're like, they, eh, eh, eh. they said it's good. It's good. It's kind of like if uh, people in Italy hear that Folgers is America's favorite coffee or Maxwell House. Oh. Just because it sells the most doesn't mean it's the heartbeat of America. Right. Yeah. I, I don't that's think Chevrolet. that's <laughs> right. So, um, so this coffee, well, don't believe things that you hear about other countries. That's you, what I think. <laughs> the, the lesson here is that. Drink the coffee you like and don't don't fall prey to marketing. Right. How about that? There you yeah. go. Just use your own opinion. Right. But um, yeah, so Lavazza is one of those coffees. When we first started drinking coffee, it was like the first coffee that we drank that was like, whoa, this is really good coffee. Do you, you I think like so, it, yeah. back in the day, it was like our favorite coffee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Other things have taken its place. I would say like above Lavazza for me are like caribou. Mm hmm. Javalia, Pete's, any kind of any kind of like local uh, roaster, local stuff. roaster. Not all of them, but most yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this was back in the day. Back in the day, before we were doing any oh, yeah. reviews, mm -hmm. we're talking about like 15, 16, mm -hmm. 17 years ago, mm -hmm. where we were drinking Folgers. Right. And they were like, "What's this? Italian coffee? Mm -hmm. Ooh, Italy's favorite coffee. That's nice marketing." <laughs> Yeah. They got us. Yeah. So this coffee, um, well, that's is a little bit more expensive. Uh, Not that bag. But this bag um, was about $3. Actually, $3 around a minute, I think, for 2.2 pounds. Yeah. We got it for about a dime an ounce. <laughs> so, it's a dime bag. <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> anyway. Actually, I noticed that it weighs 1,000 grams, so it's a kilo of coffee. I've heard about those things on television shows. <laughs> right. When you have a kilo. No. It's bad. We should close the windows. Is that a black helicopter? Are you done? <laughs> I think so. I think you've had too much coffee. I don't know. Um, so speaking of, is this coffee any good? Because, I mean, obviously we got it for a very good price, but yeah. even if you get really uh, bad coffee at a good price, that's not a good deal. So. Right. We've had it for several We've days. We've had it for several days. And the first time we had it, I actually... Didn't like it so much. Um, you messed with the um, I adjusted the, ratio. the amount of coffee per water amount. So what did you do? Now it's about uh, five heaping tablespoons mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for our two cups here. Yeah. And, and you can see there's some left in the French press. I don't know if that's uh, like a conflict of interest there, a French press and Italian coffee. I think they get along. They do. I think they do. Fascist countries. They were at one time. <laughs> Not anymore. Not anymore, well, as far as we know. Yeah. Maybe America's turning that way. Well, I'd say Australia's more fascist. That's true. Point. That's <laughs> true. But, um, yeah, so five tablespoons for what's supposed to be like five, six to eight ounce cups mm -hmm. of, yeah. of coffee. And I really like it at this ratio. It's mm -hmm. really a really enjoyable cup. I'm using... Heavy cream today. Yeah. Feeling a little luxurious. Shame, shame. Shame on you. But it's really good. I I, I like it. I, I don't get the pepper. They say pepper. I don't I don't think Maybe pepper. that was the nutty flavor you were tasting. Mm, I didn't say nutty either. Not today you didn't. Oh. You said the other day, but it was like five o'clock in the morning, so yeah, yeah. that's different. Where she's yeah. like, I think I taste pepper. <laughs> I mean nuts. Yeah. This is that? good though. Like I do. I do think I feel, like get the, the cocoa kind of flavor, mm -hmm. which I enjoy. And I don't know. I really like it, especially the price point. It's like, well, yeah, if I was going to do donut rating for this, you have to. Well, not if you I, were going I, to. well yeah, I was going to say it's mandatory, but not required. I mean, I'm, I know what I'm going to say. 
And I can't remember whose you, turn it is it's to go your for. Turn. I, I would go four and a half. Time. Four and a half for this. Now, I was trying to remember exactly how much do we normally pay full price for Lavazza. Mm -hmm. I'm wanting to say it's more like along the lines of eight, yeah. nine dollars yeah, a bag. Yeah, I was going to say that's I probably for that, like 16, yeah. 18 dollars yeah. for that but bag. But I think, I mean, I guess, I guess if I had to pay full price, it might be like four. I'll agree with you there. I couldn't at four and a half because I don't like it as much as I liked yeah. the last coffee we reviewed, which mm. was, it's escaping me now, but if you look at our videos, it was not the last one because the last one was a book discussion about Brave New World, but the one before that. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what it was. Yeah, it either. was an Ethiopian coffee. Oh, Good and Gather. Good and Gather, that yeah. That was better. That was a surprisingly good coffee. Yeah, and it helped us gather around the table. There were a few puns in that episode. Yeah. Not in this one. Mm -mm. But yeah, so four donuts out of five for uh, Lavazza. I don't know what the Italian word for donut is. No. It's not, ben <laughs> it's not beignet. Is it? No, I don't know what it is. Is that the French word for donut? Beignet? beignet? Or is beignet. that a different well, thing? Well, beignet is basically a donut. But it's a different thing. It's a different. It's different. Crispy cream beignet. <laughs> That was neither French or Italian. Cracker Barrel has uh, biscuit beignets, mm -hmm. which we did not order, but no, I no, bet they're delicious. Yeah. Well, it's deep fried dough, <laughs> so <laughs> well every biscuits donut. are delicious. Yeah, that's true. So yeah, <laughs> it only makes sense. Right. All right. Enough of this tomfoolery and shenanigans that we have here. Right. It's late in the afternoon, and it's almost time to eat some chicken. Mm -hmm. All right, so four donuts out of five. Yep. We hope that you guys enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed this coffee, hopefully more. Uh, pick up a bag. Yeah. A dime bag or a kilo, however much you can find <laughs> at your local supplier <laughs> in whatever alley you choose to acquire your coffee. Right? Right. All right. Thanks for joining us. And until next time. Keep grinding.